Another edition of Keeping It Real with Rob. I'm your host, Rob Connett. Joining us for today's episode is Presley Johnson. She is from the Green Level Girls Soccer Team. Presley, how are you? Thanks for joining us. I'm good. How are you? Good. Thanks for uh, deciding to do this. We're really excited to have you. I'm excited. So we talked with uh, Coach Lamb uh, in our last episode, and she described the team as um essentially like a, a unit where there's not really like one or two leaders uh, she was saying how like everyone is really a team you know there's there's not uh, a single person that she turns to you guys all step up would you agree with that yeah i would definitely agree with that especially um since um there's a lot of returners we all have the same goals and especially how we ended the season last year I feel like we're all so a little like upset how it ended last year so we want to like pick up on the right foot and keep going forward from where we left off and I would say there's a lot of leaders on the team um there's a lot of different personalities so like everyone comes together and we all are focused on like the same goals which is cool to remind everybody about last year how, how did the season end um unfortunately we ended we got out in the second round of playoffs in double overtime, which is a very unfortunate way to end the season. But I definitely think we've picked up right where we left off and are even better than we were. That's that's what Coach was saying last episode, too, was as soon as that season was over, you you guys felt like there was so much more potential that you could have really went further in, in the tournament. And as soon as the season ended, a lot of you were like, we're ready for 2023. Let's do it. And you had to wait that whole time. And now the season has finally started. How has the season been so far? Uh, so far, it's been good. We're 3-0 and out and have a sh- three shutouts, which is super exciting. Always good. Um, and then next week, we start the conference, which I'm super excited for. Yeah. Are, are there any uh, specific teams in the conference where you, you look at the schedule and you're like, oh, that's going to be a good one? Like you're um, looking really forward to it? Yeah, especially. So our first conference game next week's first Apex Friendship, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, them and Holly Springs are definitely probably our toughest competition. And we play Apex Friendship in our first game next week. And then we play Holly Springs on senior night. So I feel like both of those are like big games that we'll get up for, which I'm excited for. Yeah, we're uh, we're going to try our best to get everyone out to the swamp for that. That should be really good. Uh, for anyone that is not familiar with with you and your in your playing career at green level what position do you play um so i kind of play a little bit of everywhere um i've been playing forward and attacking mid but i also play like i have played like wing and asset back before which is very different and i've been on the team i couldn't play my first two years because of club soccer so this is my second year so i played my junior and senior year have you seen any difference i know we talked about obviously last year uh ended not the way you guys wanted, but have you noticed any other differences from, from last year to this year? Um, Since it's a lot of the same girls, I feel like we're definitely all motivated towards like the same goals again, but at this year's at definitely like more like we're all driven, like we're more focused, excited to win and get stuff done. Presley, you're a senior. Uh, Once you are done with green level, I know you're, you know, we're in the spring semester. You guys are getting ready for graduation, which, you know, Mm -hmm. not that far away. Have you, have you thought about what you're going to be doing uh, after your time at green level? Um, After I graduate, I'll most likely be going to NC state, which is I'm excited for if I don't play soccer in college. Gotcha. Wolfpack. Yes. Have you always been, uh, have you always been an NC state fan your whole life? Um, so actually none of my family lives in the U.S. So I'm the first in my like family to go to college in the U.S. So I guess it's kind of exciting. So now my family is a Wolfpack fan. <laughs> Have you had to explain to them uh, the rivalry of, you know, you got to You got to pick your team once you live here. It's either state or Carolina. No one really talks about Duke. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, my family definitely keeps up with basketball. I know tonight UNC and state both play in the ACC tournament, which is exciting. But definitely NC State fans, yeah. And, and again, for those that do not know, you're, where is your family from? 
Um, my both my parents are from Canada, and then my mom's also from. All my family lives in Portugal since she was born there, and Portugal. from there. Wow. So how how did you guys end up in in Raleigh, North Carolina? Um. So my mom went back and forth from Canada and Portugal, and then they both met in Canada since my dad's from Canada, and then they moved to um Florida, and so they went from like cold to hot, and then in North Carolina's <laughs> in the middle temperature wise, I guess. Um. So that's where they ended up. That's it was it's as simple as that. They were so used yeah. to Canadian cold and they're like, Florida's way too hot. We need somewhere in the middle. So yeah. North Carolina, there it was. Uh -huh. That's hilarious. That's awesome. Um, again, with you being a senior, uh, what would you if if you know the, the freshmen that are on the team, or maybe there's someone um in middle school that's like, I want to play high school soccer. What, what what kind of advice would you give uh, the younger people? Um, To definitely take it all in, I guess, because it goes by really fast. I really wish I could have played my first two years since playing high school soccer has definitely been one of the like best experiences for me. Just getting to play with all of my closest friends, playing on the field, representing Green Level has been super fun. So I guess just take it all in because it definitely goes by very fast. I like that. And... I will tell you this, uh, enjoy the rest of your senior year of high school because that also will fly by. And then once you're in college, whether it's at NC State or somewhere else, same thing for you because it, it, it kind of just repeats itself. You're, you're a freshman all over again at college uh, and you want to get as many opportunities as possible and don't limit yourself to anything and enjoy your time yeah. in college as well. Mm -hmm. All right, Presley, we have gotten to the end of the episode uh, this is a segment that we like to call Investigator. See, that was, I'm, I'm, you are like the first person to actually giggle at, like, I've been doing this this whole time, and finally someone understands Investigator. Like, I like it. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. So, uh, what we're, what we're, <laughs> what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to give you some rapid fire questions. It has nothing to do with soccer or green level or anything, but we want to get to know you a, a little better. So I'm going to give you some questions. Give me your answer as, as soon as you can, all right? Okay. All right, here we go. Cue the music. Investigator time. Uh, first question for you. What is your favorite flavor of Gatorade? Um, The blue flavor. Blue Is I it light blue or dark blue? Light blue, definitely the light blue. Okay, that's a very popular one. Uh, would you rather binge watch TV shows or watch movies? TV shows. I'm not a fan of movies. Not a fan of movies. What, what's your favorite TV show? Um, I'm watching New Girl right now. It's pretty good. New Girl. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, what is your favorite class at Green Level? Um, art. Art? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything specific that you like to draw or does it just kind of... Uh I've taken art all four years at Green Level, so I've had like the same teacher throughout all four years. So, and I really like my class. So, very nice. All right, uh, if you could have any car in the world, what is what is your dream car? Um, definitely like a convertible or like a the new like Ford Broncos with like the tops and the doors that come off are really nice. Um, something around something like that. Okay. Uh, one more question, since you are from Canada. Uh, should everyone try poutine? Um, so I'm going to be honest, I've never tried it. Um, oh, what? Um, I like um, the all like the candy in Canada is super good. And they have like ketchup chips, which are really good. Like they sound kind of gross, but they're really good. Um, Arrow <laughs> bar, coffee crisp, like all the different types of candy are really good. What are, what is it? Is it simply just chips flavored like ketchup? Yeah, they're, they're like Lay's chips that are just flavored like ketchup. They're really good. Ketchup chips. All right. If there's a way you can get it from Canada and bring it to uh, bring it to green level, let me know. I'd, I'd like Absolutely. to try it. Because I went to Canada over um, Christmas, and I think, like, my family loves them, so we bring a bunch of stuff home. I, I'm down. I, I'll try it. I'm going to come to a soccer game, bring me a bag of ketchup chips, and, and we'll try it. Okay. All right, that sounds good. Presley Johnson from the Green Level Girls Soccer Team, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.